Hi and welcome to a series of short talks around giving. Giving. Uh, before I start firstly kind of a disclaimer. Uh, this is a series specifically for those who are followers of Jesus Christ or more accurately disciples of Jesus. Only those who uh, recognise that being a disciple is accepting the Lordship of Christ in every area of their lives. Meaning uh, Jesus is the last word. He's the boss. He's the manager over everything, over my relationships, my choices of work, career, even over my use of time and specifically all of my resources and money. In fact, you could say how we give our time, our treasure and talents is how is how we spend our lives. So these talks are massively important to anyone uh, on a journey as a disciple who acknowledges the Lordship of God in their lives. Now, if you've stumbled on this and you're on a journey, uh, you've not made that distinctive decision on making God Lord over all, which is described as discipleship in the Bible. Well, I hope you enjoy this, but keep walking in faith until you sense that this is for you. Because this, this really, this teaching, the short teaching I'm going to do over this series is really for those who've made that decision already for discipleship in their lives. So there's three areas we are called to give to in God's word, which form the very simple acronym of GIVE, G-I-V. God, insufficiency and vision. Now, in these talks, I'm going to briefly share evidence of each one of those each time from Scripture in just five minutes or so and post all the verses for you to study further if you want, if you want to go deeper. But today, for time's sake, I'll post the verses uh, just here. And in the following talks, we'll look at these together in a bit more detail um, and go a bit deeper. But just for time's sake today, the verses will appear here. So let's dive right in. Giving, give, G-I-V. Giving, we've got to say, begins with God. G, God. Because in the beginning, God gave. Because in the beginning, God so loved that he gave. Now, I've lived for many years with the simple mantra that first things belong to God. First things belong to God. They're not mine. I don't own them. I just steward them. Um, and here's just some of the verses that state that. Um, first things belong to God. Yeah, the first hour of my day, it's God's. The, the first day of the week, Sunday, it, it belongs to God. The first part of my income, it's not mine to spend, it belongs to him. And throughout scripture, there is an emphasis on first things, uh, first fruits, the first child. And it, it's, it's more than what comes first. Uh, throughout the Bible in this theme, first simply means the best. And as a disciple, I believe God gets the best, not the leftovers, not not what's left after I've used all the rests, after I've spent everything like, uh, yeah, I've spent it all, God, uh, but here's, here's something for you now. No, 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 I don't believe that. I don't believe God gets the remains of my week after work and family and Netflix and et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. No, giving begins with God. We give to God the first and the best. And I think that's a great principle to start this study on. So first of all, we give to God. There's the G. Then I. Then we give to insufficiency. Insufficiency. Wow. There's a lot of that in our world today. There's an, a never ending stream of needs and lack. Even on TV, join the adverts. You know what I mean? We're bombarded with appeals from, from children starving um, in Africa to abused donkeys in Asia to the next famine somewhere in the world. And, uh, you know, if you're like me, you can just be overwhelmed by that. And, and then even in our own town, our own neighbourhood, there there could be terrible needs that we're called to help with. Um, even during this season in 2021, the you know food banks um, are at record levels. Unemployment is rising, and the question is how do how do we respond to those needs? Do we just turn a blind eye, or as disciples, uh, do we have some responsibility? And I'm going to dig deeper into that. And next time also. So we give to God first. We give to insufficiency where there's need. And then lastly, we give as believers to vision, to vision. There will always be insufficiency 
when it comes to vision because we have a massive vision. Our vision is massive. We're, we're, we're called to reach our town, our generation where he's placed us, all of it, every man, woman, boy and girl with the saving power of the good news. Uh, that should be the vision of every disciple of Jesus Christ. But that's going to take massive resources and um, to even scratch the surface of that. That will always demand that we dig deep in our giving. So we give to God, we give to insufficiency and we're called to give to vision. So in closing, just on this brief start of this, let me encourage you today in these three areas. And to kick off with, maybe maybe you could take some time to check out the verses that I've posted here. But let these scriptures also challenge you maybe to do a kind of um, audit um, in this next week. Um, where, where, where am I giving to today? How am I spending and that will show how I'm spending my life. How am I spending? How am I giving when it comes to God, insufficiency and vision? God, insufficiency and vision. And I'll be back very soon as we go deeper into this whole subject of give from the word of God. In the meantime, be blessed today.